hi guys welcome back to my channel if you've been here for a while if you've been riding this train with me thank you for coming back to another video if you are here for the first time hi my name is honey i post new videos on this channel every wednesday um so please click that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time i post a new video which will be every wednesday and i'm also trying to reach 500 subscribers so if you have been here for a while or you are here now for the first time and you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button it's for free today's video so um today's video is um a story time or how we got broken into oh it's like a home invasion story time i was involved in a home invasion man i don't know how to title this video we'll see what we title this or how we call it but story time me home invasion okay some ice cream so um get your ice cream get your popcorn because the story is interesting it's long it's fun mm. so it was a uh, friday and by the way it was a friday the 13th not that i'm superstitious or anything i might also not believe in friday the 13th but this happened on a friday which was the 13th it was 13th september 2019 this was last year okay so um i'm at work and then grace grace sent me a text and she's like game night and i'm like um where at your place and then she's like no my landlord whatever so um we're gonna have this game night at my place okay and i'm like okay cool you know i'm gonna text you when i'm on my way home and then you come over and so I decided to text um, my other friend, my, not my other friend, <laughs> I decided to text my friend, my best friend, Karina, so she can also come and then, you know, we do the game night thing. And so um, we come, I, I get home and then I, I call Grace, she comes, and so it was me and Grace in the beginning and then it was around 7ish. Uh, and then we're waiting for Karina so when Karina got there she like send us a text we go we walk to like to go pick her up now from where she gets off and surprisingly you guys won't believe this but like as we're walking Grace to school and she's like oh I was like I was so comfortable in this location like I used to be I don't know I was just comfortable I would walk around with my phone I, I wouldn't care about somebody coming to grab my phone or whatever but like it was just a comfort place but and the where the house was located also it was like on the main road of the location it's like Ochomise's main road that the look that road of the shops in Ochomise uh, the house was there so it just felt kind of like everyone is watching or whatever so yeah anyways I'm working with my phone in my hands now and then Grace goes like oh child people get robbed what is this like why are you having your phone in your hands like that I'm like, oh, nah, this is my location. I wouldn't get robbed, you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we go to the shop. We pick Karina up and we get back to the house. And we're just having a good time. Party. Not partying, but like smoking pipe. Having wine. And playing 30 seconds. No, that's not 30 seconds. What is that Namibian 30 seconds? The Namibian version of 30 seconds. That's the game we're playing. And I think Grace had two other friends that were supposed to come, but I don't know what happened. They ended up not coming. Anyways, um, it's like around 12, it's going to 12 o'clock and then Grace goes like, no, it's late. Let me just go get a cab and go home. And she was, she was actually waiting for someone to come pick her up, but then that person wasn't replying or something. So she just decided to go get a cab. Hmm, okay. This is where things get interesting. We put Grace on a cab. Okay. I feel like this part of the story, I, I'm not going to leave it out. It's kind of important. 
So when we're putting grace into a cab, there are like guys asking the taxi driver for money. And then the taxi driver wanted to give the guys money, but then Grace was like, mm, I don't trust these guys. She's like, ah, 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 but let's just go, let's just go. Don't give them money. And then so uh, the taxi driver doesn't give the guys the money and Grace and this guys drive off, okay? So now I told Grace, no, text me when you get home so I know that you are home safe and whatnot. Um, Karina was going to sleep at my place that day too, so... We get back into the house, we lock the house, we go to my room, we lock myself, lock myself, we lock ourselves into the room now. And so I go on my bed and I'm sleeping like by the window. Like my bed is not at the window, but it's like half of the bed was on, uh, on the window and half was in. So, okay. What was I? Half of the bed is on the window side and half of the bed isn't. So I'm sleeping up on my bed and I'm kind of by the window now and I'm having my phone. And the phone had, you know those, uh, a pop socket, but it's like in the phone case. It slides out of the phone case. It's not the ones that you paste on top of the phone case. It's the ones that slides out of the phone case. So um, my finger was kind of in the pop socket. This one. <laughs> it was in the pop socket and so... um. I'm, I'm lying on my bed now and then I'm just like on my phone Karina is sitting on the floor and she's preparing a fresh head and then Grace sends me a text message and she's like I'm home safe so um, as she sends the message like simultaneously like at the same time um, we hear like something drop like something make a noise and then we're like what was that and I'm like oh, no it's nothing and then next thing we hear like it sounded like somebody's banging on the door but it's not like banging on the door it's like you know how it would sound when somebody's pushing themselves like when you're pushing someone against the door it sounded like that and so in the next room in the room next to mine there was a couple and so we just assume oh, they're fighting or i don't know we just assume the couple is fighting or something okay so um then i i'm now sending an sms to grace and i'm like i think people are fighting but then the fighting didn't go as in fighting it went like if i something okay as i'm just as i'm sending the message like and i'm i'm sleeping at the window don't forget and i'm sending the message and then somebody tries to grab my phone right so this um, i think people are fighting the fighting didn't go as fighting it just went as if i something something and so um um, the person tried to grab my phone from the window and then I pulled the phone back and I turned around Tell me why I'm turning around to five at least five five men Wearing mask having pangas and a gun. Okay, we just saw one gun at that point It's so instinct adrenaline call it whatever it was we decide to run out of the room thinking we're gonna run into the house you know it's like if somebody is at your window if you run into the house and lock yourself in the house like you are safe right <laughs> oh gosh yeah <laughs> we run into the house you know going to be safe most and people are at the window maybe they can get into the room from the window and take whatever they want so when we ran into the house just as i opened the door there are like two other guys inside the house also wearing mask so um at this point i'm doomed like there's nowhere to go These people are already in the house the other side the window and so um there's a door behind me the one of the couples that we thought were fighting and their door is locked so i just decided to sit in front of their door and slide my phone between my legs most you know they won't see it must sit between my legs they'll maybe go in the room and take whatever they want in the room let me show you i don't like having her hands up like this like you know how in the movies they go like freeze and then you put your hands up that's karina there <laughs> Gosh, this story sounds so funny today, but on that day it was traumatizing. It's supposed to be a traumatizing story anyways. Karina is having her hands up and she's held at gunpoint. And then this guy goes like, where's your phone, where's your phone? She's asking Karina, where's her phone? And, he's, and the other guy is also at me now and he's asking me, where's my phone? Okay, so this guy is asking me where my phone is. I just started screaming. Like at this point, I'm like, I'm just going to scream as loud as I can, right? 
and then he holds me on my mouth like this yeah he holds me on my mouth but and then he's like holding a panga so i think they i don't know two of these guys had guns okay but the one that was standing at me just had a panga in his hand and he kept saying uh, stop screaming stop screaming and wish your phone and then how he's holding my mouth it's like you know if somebody wants to really hurt you they're gonna hold it's so hard so that you can't scream or you can feel some kind of pain right but this guy was literally holding me but he wasn't putting any pressure on me or whatever so at this point i'm like if you wanna hurt me guy get take my phone just so you know i don't die because of my phone and also like at this point I was like saying no i don't have a phone i don't have a phone and then grace is calling because she's like she had the text of people are hiding which didn't come out for, um, in, um, right so um she's calling me and this guy is holding my mouth and so i just gave him my phone and i continued screaming you know and then as i'm screaming one of the guys walk out with my handbag the other one one of the guys woke up with my handbag and then the other one is like uh, he took Karina's handbag but then Karina's on top of Karina's handbag there were clothes I think her jersey or something was on top of her handbag and so when the guy picked the bag up I felt it I it felt maybe way too light or too heavy and then he just put it down he thought it's a, a bag of clothes or clothes or something so you put Karina's handbag back and then my makeup bag is a handbag like it looks like a handbag you wouldn't think it's not a handbag so he took my makeup Bag, thinking maybe it's a handbag mm. and so um yeah um these guys are now kind of trying to walk out or so and i'm screaming so as i'm screaming there is a nearby neighbor that's like he used to work in ndf and so he had a gun so this guy starts shooting in the air most like this. okay so where was that sorry but yeah um so i'm screaming and then the guy my neighbor not neighbor is not the he is a neighbor like okay yeah he stays close by okay so um and he heard me scream and so he heard me scream and he decided to start shooting guns in the air i'll get to why he did that but yeah i decided shooting guns in the air okay we're just gonna let that go he started shooting guns in the air i mean like warning shots in the air come on guns started shooting warning shots in the air and then these guys literally ran to the door stand right in front of the door and they start shooting back at the warning shots and so we realized that this gun is real i mean it's shooting real shots and you know how in movies like a gun will be having like what do they call that like like a smoke at the as the person is shooting right i used to think that's a joke like i used to think that's like movies doing too much like i didn't really think like a gun would really do that and you know how people talk about gun powder the smell doesn't go away and all of that like that smell used to smell for like days in that house but yeah this guy starts shooting back at the other guy and then they run out in i guess there was a little bit nearby and then they jump the fence they go in the river bed somewhere somewhere they run and so um so since they ran away we got we get out now like i knock on the couple's door they open it's not even a i don't know why i keep calling them a cup but they are like they are married couple they are big people also they are all not all but they are in 50 and above yeah. yeah so um we knock on their door they open and then we call the police and a lot of the neighbors started coming because they had the gunshots and stuff so they came our neighbors came and we called the police right so the police comes and this is very weird for me like the police gets there they walk uh, no don't touch what don't touch what they walk around with their okay so um they walk around with their what do they call torches and stuff and then looking and asking questions whatever yeah so um then uh, one of them finds my makeup bag and i was actually hoping it's my handbag because my handbag had actually way more valuable stuff to me like my hearing aid was in there my glasses was in there like <clears throat> i would have rather had the makeup bag gone than the hearing aid but it's what it is they found my um 
makeup bag, right? And then they're like, oh, we found this bag. Um, and then they left it there, okay? Like, they left it there. And then later we asked, oh, should the bag just stay there or should we go pick it up, right? And then they're like, no, you can just go pick it up. And then we're like, oh, you guys don't take fingerprints and stuff. I mean, this was, this person was wearing a mask, right? But this person also held the bag. They were wearing a mask, but they were not wearing gloves. And they held the bag. So, you, I mean, you can find fingerprints on that, right? And then they were like, no, we don't take fingerprints. I'm like, okay. Like, so for me, that was weird. Like, why does the police or why do they have our fingerprints or like on our ID and stuff but when there's a crime or whatever they don't take fingerprints like that was a weird whatever <sighs> it's about to get even weird this is like I don't know how I don't know anyways we don't obviously identify the people there's no way I can identify somebody that's wearing a mask so yeah those people tell us no let's go to the police station right so we get into the police car to go make a statement we get into the police car, we get to the police station. So these police officers drop us off and they leave. And so I guess they just it was just a lift to the police station, right, to go make the statement. We get to the st uh, station and now we are like standing there and there's like a guy sitting in his chair, like, you know, all oh, chill, sitting way backwards and stuff. And we like ask, we like, we're like, no, we want to make a statement. And the guy's like sitting and looking at us. I saw I, at least three minutes went by of this guy just sitting and looking at us while we told him no we want to open the case and then I got at this point I'm frustrated now and I'm asking um excuse me like we said we wanted to open a case and please tell me it's limited that it was around it, the time was now at least one o'clock so it was kind of like you can't expect people to come to the police station at one o'clock if they really have nothing to do or they are just here to come sit around or whatever like at one o'clock at the police station are you serious now no this guy is just looking at us like doesn't want to talk to us or whatever and i'm like say we said we wanted to open a case and then he goes like did i say i'm not coming <sighs> oh yeah um that's the namibian police for you um eventually he came we opened the case there's people maybe got caught at some point or never got caught whatever but yeah this case is still ongoing and that was my tragic moment um how did we get back home we called someone to come pick us up and then we went back home we went to go sleep in the exact same house but i moved out like a month later maybe i could make a video on how i dealt with the whole um the aftermath like it's a whole it's a different story it's a different it's it's, it's long okay it's like yeah i wouldn't want to include that in here but maybe i'll make another video next time explaining how i dealt with the depression that comes along with it and a next eh? anxious and an, a next city huh? that word being anxious all the time, not wanting to be alone all the time. That I'll do a different video for that and how I dealt with that and all of that. But yeah, um, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this um, story time with me. If you'd like me to make more story time, let me know. I have a lot of stories to tell. Okay, so um, yeah, this is the end of this story time. So um, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if there are any new video ideas that you'd like to leave for me, leave it in the comment box below and I will get to them. Anyways, um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click the subs subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Help me reach 500 subscribers. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, there are more videos. I'll leave um, my most recent video here. My most watched video here and then i'll put a playlist for you guys of more videos that you can watch thank you bye bye